KB was deeply skeptical of these Greybeards and their intentions. It seemed they had suspiciously little to teach KB. Or rather, it was said they could speak the dragon language fluently. Yes. Yet all they provided were a few paltry words, then sent KB on her way. So what did their organization see of KB in the long term, she wondered. Yes. KB's suspicion was that she could be used to recover lost words from the dragons, and that the Greybeards hoped she would be satisfied with paltry nothings. Yes. There were some who might advocate that getting something is better than nothing. Yes. But KB would be shamed by her people if she did not get the good deal. The treacherous Greybeards could wait, however. For now, KB had the job to kill Nilsine's Shatter Shield. Yes, located in the city of Windhelm. Windhelm was, in KB's opinion, total crap. Yes. It was freezing cold year-round and entirely reliant on trade with the country of Morrowind. Consequently, the only people who did well in this city were the trading families. Yes. Others scraped by on the meager wages those oligarchs were willing to tolerate. And a volcanic disaster in Morrowind sent many refugees from that country to Windhelm for work. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because Spare they're Imperial spies. Poor old woman. What? Imperial no, Kevin has no money. Yes. You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight, little spy. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Oh. The Jarl of Windhelm was a greasy Nord, and a noted racist. Yes. Ironically, it was his racism that betrayed his own people. As the desperate Dark Elves streamed in from Morrowind, they worked longer hours for lesser pay. Yes. The oligarchs would have nothing less. Jarl Ulfric refused to do anything to mitigate this harsh treatment. Yes. And now the Nords competed with what may as well have been slavery. Yes. Now that you mention it, I think... You there! You're the one they call Dragonborn! No! Yes. KB is KB, she is sure. Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver. We know you are the false Dragonborn! What? You shall not stand in the way of the true Dragonborn's return. He comes soon, and we shall offer him your heart! When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him! <laughs> Good luck! Yes! KB had no idea who these people were. But Nilsine Shattershield was left to be prey to KB. The guards were distracted with these cultists. And best of all, it would appear the cultists were responsible for the death! Yes! KB nearly pitied their lack of experience with assassination. How foolish to walk up to someone and tell them I am here to kill you! The guards dealt with these miscreants handily. KB found on their persons a note. On top of everything else, they carried around their written instructions. KB pocketed the missive. She would read it later. Yes, for now she had things to do. It was obvious these amateurs posed no immediate risks. KB's next destination was the ancient Dwemer ruins known as Raubbathar, which had become a staging place for bandits. Yes. It was here, supposedly, that Muri's former lover resided. And according to KB's contract, he was slated to die. Yes. KB should have hiked her rate significantly. There were a great number of bandits here, and none of them were open to negotiation. The death toll was well beyond what KB would be paid. Yes. Regardless, Elaine Dufont was now Elaine dead. Yes. <laughs> Men throughout Skyrim would hear of his example and know to put the toilet seat down, or not do whatever it was Elaine had done wrong. Yes. Weary would be pleased. The place where the Greybeard sent KB was far from Raubbathar. There was evidence that bandits had moved in here as well. Yes. There was also evidence that someone had been killing bandits here. Yes. This was not a positive thing, for it implied this place may already be plundered of whatever treasures the Greybeards hoped KB would recover. Unless, of course, the Greybeards hoped that KB would learn some intangible lesson, like the value of friendship or something. Yes. But the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller sounded like a very physical artifact. In any case, it appeared this place was in the middle of some kind of necromancer bandit turf war. Yes. These fools were not present far within the structure, however. As it turned out, this burial mound was enormous. Yes. It was full of the angry undead, droggers and skeletons. KB had to wonder why this was. Why was this place so big? It was meant to be the burial ground of Jurgen Windcaller. So what purpose did he have for such a place? 
Legend said that these mounds housed ancient armies that would rise again when the time was right. So when did Jurgen intend to rise again? And upon whose signal did he wait? Yes. Perhaps the Greybeards did not care if KB found this horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Perhaps KB was this signal. With this thought, KB did now have enough suspicion to turn around and leave. But her curiosity was too strong. Yes. Down below grew trees and shrubbery, in spite of there being no natural light. This could be accomplished with magic, KB supposed. Still, an interesting touch. More important, however, was the Oosh wall which KB discovered. Upon it were written the words, Fade. Yes. Above the grotto, KB discovered a magical puzzle, clearly designed as a test of her patience. Yes. It appeared the objective was to touch three stones, then use the whirlwind sprint ability taught to KB by the Greybeards to sort of attempt to get through the gate. Yes. Several times, Thaneslave asked if it would be simpler for her to just touch the stones and let KB walk through as the gates opened. But KB got angry and said, no, she can do it herself. Yes. Thaneslave did not ask again after KB snapped at her, and so KB spent several minutes making the fool of herself. She did not know how yet, but she would get the Greybeards for this. Yes. God. At last, KB found the tomb of Jurgen Windcaller. And things were a bit too inviting. Yes. The crab claws rose from the sea. And what was it that waited on this pedestal for Kaby? Nothing but betrayal! Yes! A written admission of guilt, labeled from a friend. Yes. This errand was not fair. KB had not been given enough advance notice. Someone had beaten her to the horn. Yes. It was not KB's fault. It was the short-sighted Greybeards. Yes. KB had other tasks to complete, ones which were much more doable. And in the dead of night, under a storm, she snuck into a bandit camp. Here was Merida's beacon, precisely where the Daedra Merida said it would be. Yes. This was how jobs were intended to go. You have found my beacon. But it is not time for rejoicing. The Defiler continues to profane my temple. Return to my figure on Mount Kelly, and I shall make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink. There's no shipments coming in, so I do nothing. Just drink. Really? Yes. Well, what news? Is Elaine... The deed is done. Yes. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. How interesting that you would hold KB on this pedestal. Well, for your sake, Miri, I hope that we remain strangers in the future. <laughs> yes. Merida was one step closer to appeased, but KB also had to see the Molag ball. Though this could easily backfire on her, it was not wise to upset any Daedric prince. Yes. Molag balls. Think you can best Boethia's faithful? I have won this contest before. Ah, but I have my own champion this time, Logroth. What? You? Mortal, I give you my mace in all its rusted spitefulness. Thank you, Lord Morlagvall. Crush the spirit from Logroth's bones. Make him bend to me. Uh, if you insist, yes. Okay, hang on, KB cannot reach. Excuse KB, thanks, Lane. What's the hurry? Are in the way. This is ridiculous. Thanks, Lane. KB needs specs. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> and your frail, limp, pathetic bodies. Try it again! Again? Yes, okay. Is this going to be like a Sisyphean trial of how many times can Kebby hit this man? No more. No 
more. I submit more like boss. I submit. You bend to me? Say yes. 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 You pledge your soul to me? Say yes. 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 You forsake the weak and pitiful Boethia? Say yes. 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 You're mine now, Logroth. Kill him. Again? Yes? This time don't bring him back, okay? If you want him to be no. dead, you have to let KB keep him dead. He is very fire resistant. Yes. The mace of Molag Bal. I give you its true power, mortal. Hooray! Hooray, yes. When your enemies lie broken and bloody before you, know that I will be watching. Praise Molag Ball. Thank you, Lord Molag Ball. KB is very dominated, very much, you're very dominated. Now, yes. I have a soul in oblivion that needs claiming. Take care of the house while I'm gone. <laughs> Very classic evil laugh, more like Ball. Very good, Lord, more like Ball. KB will go now. Yes. KB would go on to never ever use the mace of Lord Molag Ball. Yes. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical Imperial lies. First, you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongvor. We're done. Excuse Kaby, but she could not help but over here, yes. If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. What is wrong? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Ah, but Kaby is sometimes known to be so helpful. All right. I was going to suggest the Jarl hire someone to sort this mess out anyway. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. <laughs> Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. Seriously? We haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arke will reward you. Take my key, and be careful. Very well, Kebby will look into it. Tread lightly in the hall. I don't know what's in there. Of course, yes. You! You! Who are you to approach the Jarl of Markarth? KB is seeking work. Do not interfere. Yes. Very well. You may approach the Mournful Throne. But watch your words. Keep your eyes open for Forsworn when you're on the roads. Hello, Jarl. Madanak has been found to be the true murderer of Markarth. On behalf of the city, I apologize for your wrongful imprisonment. Oh. KB accepts your apology, yes. Are you a sellsword? I don't like your kind. No honor, no loyalty, unreliable. But I can't turn away a potential ally in these times. Let's see if you're better than a common mercenary. My scouts have tracked down one of the Forsworn leaders, hiding out in their blood-soaked camps. Deal with them. Yes, KB will kill them. Soon. We will see. I want no mercy for those Forsworn. Understand? Hello, Blacksmith. KB seeks new armor. What do you recommend? Yes. Depends on what you need. A light armor is good for travel, less to carry. A heavy armor weighs you down, but no true warrior goes without okay, it. Okay, these are basics. If you want some heavy armor, I might have a deal we could work out. I need a dangerous heart. Jarl wants me to cool his new sword in blood. You get me a heart, I get you some armor. Interested? This sounds like a terrible idea, but yes. Good hunting. KB already has the heart, though. Yes. Good. I'd prefer using water to cool my metal, but it's what the Jarl wants. Here. Some of my best armor. Wear it well. Clearly the Jarl is not a blacksmith, yes. Blood just burns at that high temperature. It is full of organic material. Fight well. KB will do so. Have a good day. Yes. It was lucky that KB's crimes against Markarth were so easily forgiven. Yes.